Hi everyone, I am Trina Makaria. Um, welcome to Coffee and Carrots. It is a series initiated by Young Diamond Jairs where we introduce and know our members better over a casual chat. Who other than Rami Barron, who is the founder of Young Diamond Jair from Sydney, Australia. Hi Rami. Hello. That was a bit dramatic, wasn't it? How are you? <laughs> yes. You think I have symbols on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I have my coffee here as well. I'm doing water. <laughs> You'll excuse me. It's a bit later in the afternoon. Uh, I, I start drinking coffee now. I'll never sleep. <laughs> I know. So Rami, um, tell me a little about yourself. Um, have you always been a part of the gems and jewelry industry or how did it happen to you? So I am. I have been. Um, I guess you want me to say more than yes. But okay, third generation, my father, my grandfather, since I was a kid, I used to work in the family business, a lot in uh, manufacturing and retail. And I have family all over the world in the diamond and jewelry industry. Lovely. That's nice. So, you know, I, I hear you talking about your family. So having said that, tell me a little about your family, who all are a part of your immediate family. Ah, uh, you want the intimate details. Okay. Yeah. So... <laughs> Um, okay, immediate family, because the extended family is way too big. Immediate family, three yeah. children, and of course a wife. Lovely. Um, <laughs> oldest son studying medicine, always been passionate about medicine. He's, I think, second year now, yeah. Then I have another son who's doing some, not quite sure what he's doing, but he's doing philosophy, Spanish, game theory, and business. Some were all wrapped into that, and a lot of yoga. A lot of yoga. Love. I'm not sure if it's everything Love else. You. And then I've got a daughter who her passion is mm -hmm. reptiles. And we have a room in the house which actually has, we have two snakes and wow. two lizards. We have a bearded dragon. And um, she's like an expert on all these things that are scaly and slithery and you name it. Wow. Quite, <laughs> quite interesting. My wife. Interesting and snake. unheard of. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty unusual. You know, it's amazing when you hold a snake and you close your eyes, you think that you're holding a handbag. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That's a weird one. <laughs> There's my family for you. <laughs> I know. So tell me, I, I see you very passionate. Um, tell me what is the most exciting thing about your work? Like, what do you enjoy the most? Okay, look, so although I've been in the jewelry industry all my life, in the last 20 years, I've actually focused, um, a lot of people don't know this, and although I'm like president of the Diamond Dealers Club, and I'm on the exec of the World Fed, my core business is jewelry insurance for private people. So I insure collections of jewelry or engagement rings, or expensive watches and things like that. So when you ask me about exciting, um, today I have quite a big team who run the business, but I get involved when people want me to but they want to insure collections of very unique things. In fact, the other day we had a woman who wanted to insure a collection of pink diamonds that she had acquired in probably the early 80s. So just when the Argyle mines were starting and she has there like a three carat pink, purple pink, a two carat oval, a few one carats. I mean, you're talking a collection that would an incredible money today that will never enter the market. Well, maybe in, you know, in generations to come, but, um, so that's very exciting. You know, you get to see things that are breathtaking. Absolutely. It's like a treat to the eyes. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally, totally. Absolutely. You can just think if Sotheby's was here, it would be at they would be convinced you <laughs> to sell it at auction. <laughs> that's true. But I think that's a very important part that you said that, you know, we, we love to wear our diamonds, but we don't understand and realize the importance of insuring it as well. I love that. So I, exactly. From... Just keep talking the insurance thing. I'll fix you up later <laughs> on, you know. Yeah, yeah sure. I, I agree. But, you know, uh, this is not a picture about insurance. But if you want to talk about insurance, I'm here for you. <laughs> Maybe that's over another coffee conversation. All right, exactly. So tell me about a little about Young Diamonds. How did that happen? Like, um, how did the idea conceive of this? Okay, so basically, because I've been sitting... Uh, on the executive of the World Federation for a number of years. About five years ago, we were having a meeting and I realized I looked around the table and it was mainly a lot of guys even older than myself. And I, I, 
I came to the conclusion that we weren't having, we didn't have any real clear succession plan, which is so important for any company or organization. And from that, yeah. I brought up the idea that I'd like us to initiate a conversation with the next generation and just yeah. hear what they want to do and hear what they want to say, plus the idea of bringing in the next generation. Everyone was a bit skeptical, but they said, yeah, sure, go ahead. And so I had a bit of carte blanche and I started a conversation. We started on WhatsApp mm -hmm. and it's just yeah. grown and grown and grown as you're a, you know, an avid member. And yeah. it's just been a very exciting journey. It's five years. We have hundreds of members around the world. Um, and Absolutely. as you know, we are now on Facebook predominantly. Um, and we have all these organizing committees that get involved in all sorts of stuff. That's, uh, that's quite interesting the way this has grown, like from a few members to a few hundreds. It's sure. just amazing the way it's grown. Having said that, tell me, why should one be a part of ID? Like, what is the USP of Young Diamond Devs? Okay, it's a great question. So, look, what is the essence of the YDs? The essence of the YDs, and it's super relevant in today's world more than ever before, right? Because the question you have to ask yourself is if you're a young person in the diamond and jewelry space, and remember, YD is not restricted to diamantaires only, right? Yeah. If you're, as long as diamonds is a major part of your business, right? In some capacity, if you're in the jewelry industry or labs or insurance or whatever that you deal with diamonds and jewelry, you can be party to it. And you have to be under 45. Okay. So the essence of it is that the critical thing that you need is you need a network that you can tap into and expand to, to hear what's happening around the world. What are the latest things happening? What's the market doing? Yeah. Are people experiencing the same problems that you're experiencing? And, and how wonderful to be able to ask questions and not feel intimidated. You know, and people in their own immediate environment never want to talk too much because they don't want to sound silly or, oh, I don't want to ask that question. So it's a, it's a very safe environment. It's a very nurturing environment. We're not trying to sell yeah. to each other, although a lot of business happens yeah. private messaging, right? Yes. Yeah. How could you not want to be part of that? And up till Absolutely. now, we haven't even charged anyone to be, participate. So amazing. That's my opinion anyway. Yeah. I mean, and that's, that's my personal experience as well. I mean, it's a great way to network with um, and connect with new people globally. And apart from that, I think I've at least come across a lot of trusted people, which is very important. Absolutely. So that's and I think one of, the big, one of the big things that I've been very adamant about pushing is the importance of our organization has to be gender neutral and has to realize that we have to have equal opportunities. And the bottom line is look at all the organizing committees, more than half are run by women, yourself included, right? Yes. Because it's about abilities. It's not about gender. And I mean gender broadly. So it gives everyone a really good opportunity to a bit of insight as to what it's like to work with a big organization and where's the opportunity, where are the landmines and, you know, things like that. So we, uh, when we're talking about these, do you have chapters that you are going to be working on or that, you know, like a typical organization or a club has? How does this work? Right. So we don't want to be a typical club. We don't want to be a typical organization. So a lot of it's run very informally, right? Although there is a sort of general agreement. Everything's done in agreement. No one dictates anything to anybody. We, we Although we do have a few WhatsApp groups here and there, the the organizing committee and the, the steering committee and strategy committee have said, you know what, let's rethink this. So what we've done is we've got a main website. It's www.ydts.org. You go there to join, you apply, they'll ask you for a bunch of questions and your connection to someone in the industry. And then you can participate in the conversation on Facebook, which is a Facebook group and it's a closed group. And there's a whole bunch of connections you can communicate on the website, plus obviously a lot of interesting conversations in the Facebook group. Lovely, that's quite interesting to know. Now I'm gonna do a little rapid fire question round with you where you need to pick one of these answers between the two. Sure. fire. <laughs> so especially that you are from Australia, white diamonds or pink diamonds? White. Rami the businessman, Rami the young diamond dare. Rami the young diamond dare, of course. <laughs> Hong Kong show or the Vegas show? Hong Kong for sure. 
Rami the father or Rami the husband? <laughs> That's a tough one. Equal. Equal. Ah, uh, you're the big one. <laughs> um, Rami. Today, Rami the father. Love you. Um, reading or traveling? Traveling. Going for a walk or swimming? Going for a walk. And that reminds me, you just got stung by a stingray. <laughs> I did. Where I was diving, I was diving in Sydney Harbour and I got hit by a stingray. But fortunately, my daughter, who knows all about reptiles and stingrays, told me not to worry. The bleeding will continue because there's poison in my body. But as long as I don't get very sick, I'll be okay. And hot water will take away the pain. So, and that's what happened. But yes, in Sydney Harbour, you can get hit by stingrays. The last one. Are lab-grown vitamins good for the industry? Yes or no? I'm actually going to say yes, right? Mm -hmm. But I ha you have to allow me to qualify that. I'm going to say yes, because whenever an industry is challenged, whenever an industry yeah. is, a, is under threat, it forces it to be smarter. It forces it to work harder. It forces it to rethink what its position is and how it has to define itself. And I think for too long, we've been on easy street and haven't taken our responsibility of marketing the diamond industry the way we should. And it took lab grown to kick us in the butt. That's true. I, That's I true. agree with that. So before we sign out the last question, yep. one message that you would like to share with the young diamond tears and the non-members. Okay. So to the young diamond tears, I want to say that, you can be as involved or uninvolved as you want. Many of, many of the members sit by the wayside and just listen and watch, and that's okay. We're not about forcing anyone to do anything, right? You want to get involved, you can get involved. The answer is really yeah. simple, and it's like everything in life. The more you give, the more you get. And so Agreed. if you want to network, if you want to reach out, if you want to find those trustworthy people in parts of the industry that – you know, imagine you're sitting in India right now and you want an opal. Where, how would you, where would you find a beautiful opal? But you could bring up five people in Australia yeah. and bang, they'd, they'd help you out. How would you even yeah. think of that? It's not a diamond, it's an opal, but you have the network to suddenly reach out, okay? So it's what you want out of it, you can get out of it, okay? That's to the existing members. And to a new member who's thinking, should I be part of it or shouldn't I be? It's really simple. Yeah. You can't afford not to be, because if you're not thinking that you need to be part of a network like I've described previously, yeah. in the world that we're in today, how are you going to expand your knowledge? Where are you going to go to talk to people similar in yeah. age to you to find out and get answers to things that you don't know? That's true. I don't care where you. I sit think especially with the times now, it's going to be it's going to be challenging to travel for a long time. So that's it's the best be way to reach time. out to people. You're right. Yeah. It's going to be for a long time. So this is an incredible opportunity right now. And we 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 invite everyone with open hands, open arms, should I say. <laughs> so, well, thank you, Rami, for all your time. It was Pleasure. lovely chatting with you and uh, to let us know what we'll up YD is all about. Absolutely. Wishing you a fantastic evening ahead. Thanks, Brenna. Thank you. Bye.